Good morning. Everyone has to listen to mom's annoying baby voice to get you to smile, huh? Hi, baby cakes. There you go. Look at those smiles. She is awake, huh? She slept pretty good last night and the night before. But because she slept so good the night before, I will tell you guys what happened. Yesterday was a very, very rough day, and I'm hoping today goes a little bit better. So. Because she slept so good the night before, I got a clogged milk duct. If you've ever had mastitis, you know it's not any fun. So yesterday we were eating lunch, we were at a restaurant, and I was starting to feel kind of cold. And I thought maybe, well maybe it's just the, you just tooted on me. <laughs> Yucky! I thought maybe it was just the restaurant was kind of cold, but then after a, like a minute or two, I was like, no, 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 this is me. I started feeling achy. It comes on so fast, and as soon as it like happens, it's like you know it's mastitis. I've had it with Emma, Cooper, I think maybe Porter, and not with Lucy. It basically gives you flu-like symptoms. Like I was cold, I was hot, I was sweaty, I was clammy all day long i was achy like my entire body was so achy even last night like when i woke up this morning my legs and arms were so achy and i'm still really sore like it's red and warm like you can see the clogged duct like you can see it so i took a shower last night and tried pumping to get it out um so we'll keep working on that today but it just makes you feel so sick like so miserable and on top of that, Emma had an incident yesterday, but we'll talk about that when she gets home from school. I'll wait for her. Um, I felt so bad for her though. We also have her baby blessing coming up in a few days, so we're trying to like clean up the house, clean up the yard, do a lot of that kind of work, just to kind of prep and get ready for it. And I said, you know what, let's just bag any like decorations, balloon arches, anything. Like I'm just trying to minimize the amount of stress in my life. I just want to focus on my babies, that's all. Huh. I like Mary. I like her too, and I like you. <laughs> oh, whoa. Okay, don't like breathe in her face. I was really hoping to be able to get her into deep cleaning the house today, but with my energy level, I'm thinking we'll just start picking it up. We'll just start with one room at a time, and that's what I like to do when I get like overwhelmed or I don't know where to start. I literally just start with one end of the house and see how far I can get. Take that downstairs and take these downstairs, and then this room is done. clean. I wish it was really that easy. Oh, I'm exhausted already. Does someone want to come give me a back massage? Because <laughs> that would feel really nice right now. Face. 
On days like today, it would be really easy just to give Lucy an iPad, and we've done that before, but she plays so well. Lucy's been really good about just using her imagination and playing with what she has, and some of the favorite things that she plays with are from Love Every. They have some of the cutest toys. Look how cute those are. Like She just loves coming in here and playing, which is why I brought some toys up from downstairs so that she would have toys in here to play with while I took care of Millie. And this one's a fun one. She likes to use this one. Can you put the things in there? That's a triangle. I am super excited to set up this play mat for Millie, hoping that maybe she can lay and be content a little bit more. Okay, so this is the cutest play gym mat I've ever seen. She's had a few cousins that have had this before, so she will totally be able to grow into it, huh? Right now you just look with your eyes. I will leave a link down in the description below to where you can find this super fun play mat as well as all of their other play kits. Should we just play the rest of the day? I think mommy is done with housework. Staring at that. <laughs> you're you laughing. Uh, I should be don't, crying. They, don't, they say don't cry over spilled milk, but you worked really hard to make that milk. I that pumped was, that milk. That was your milk. I spilt it. I pulled something out of the fridge and knocked it out. Golly darn it. Okay, after taking a nap, I feel so much better than I did yesterday. I'm glad that today's been a better day. Emma is home, and we are gonna talk about what happened yesterday. Oh, <laughs> do you wanna tell them what happened? Um, yeah, I was at my friend's house, and their driveway's kinda skinny, and I tried to put my bike as close to the edge as I can, and their dad backed up and hit my bike. Her bike got ran over, and I'm so glad. Let me close this door. I am so glad that Emma was not hurt, that Emma was not on the bike, that it was just the bike, because that can be fixed and taken mm. care of. So let us show you the damage. Can you see that? That entire wheel is like smashed and squished. Uh, are they called sprockets? They're all pulled out. I felt bad because I said, well, just walk home. Like I, I was like I was sick. I didn't feel good. Landon was on a school phone call, so I said, "Just walk your bike home, Emma." And then the dad had had put it in his truck and brought you home. And I felt bad because the parents felt bad. And so this is kind of how the situation went down. The dad had texted me, and I texted back, and I said, "Accidents happen." Like. And so he came back and they wanted to make it right. They wanted to get her a new bike and I kept saying, no, don't worry about it. Like I really did not want this, these parents getting her a bike. I wasn't upset with them. They were kind. She, she had an accent. I couldn't understand half of what she was saying, a really pretty accent, but I was like, I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> and we just kept telling them, no, don't worry about it. Don't get her a bike. In fact, Emma, what do you ride now? My townie, my townie bike. I said, Emma, you fit that, you can ride it. So she rides that now. We might be able to get it fixed. No, I know. We might be able to get a new tire. Yeah. There's no way you could have walked this home. Like it doesn't even wheel. I've... The only way to walk at home is this <laughs> Oh, I would have felt bad. I'm glad that he brought you home. After all of this went down, we just talked to the kids last night and explained to them a few different things. When the parents came over, did we yell at the parents? Did we get mad at them? Were we like, oh my gosh, you ran over my daughter's bike. Like we didn't get mad at them. We were super like trying to be an example to the kids on how we would want to be treated if that happened to us. And we talked to the kids about leaving your bikes in a safe spot when you're not using them. 
When the parents had brought Emma home, the look on your face, Emma, was like, am I gonna be in trouble, mom? I'm so sorry, you were teary-eyed. Like, did you think you were going to get into trouble? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like makes me feel that she, that she thought she was going to get into trouble, but I, no, I didn't get mad at her. Um, it can be fixed. Hey, 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 what's wrong? All right, we'll get it taken care of. So this doesn't happen very often, but not one person agreed with anything for dinner. So dad had the wonderful idea of doing hot dogs over a fire and everyone There's agreed with that. Light. Let's see if that lights see, it up. Is he starting up a fire? How do we? Are we gonna have a campfire? Yeah. Are we gonna roast hot dogs? Yeah! Well, you All right, this is what I'm talking about. I know. It's Poor little Emma's bike back there all bent up, but we're gonna have a good night tonight. 